What's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be covering some frequently asked questions regarding taping with trans tape. We got these answers straight from the founders of trans tape and this video is packed with value. Not to mention the giveaway. So let's go ahead and get started. Roll the intro please. Alright, we're going to dive straight into this one. So let's kick it off with question number one. Is taping your chest safe? This is asked super frequently and the answer is yes. Taping is very safe when it's done properly and with the correct type of tape. Always use trans tape or kinetic tape that was designed for use of the body. Never use duct tape or ace bandages to bind your chest. Binding with those can restrict your ability to breathe and move properly. Ace bandages in particular are designed to constrict. So as you breathe, they get tighter and they can really hurt. Taping is much better than a traditional binder since it doesn't restrict or compress your body or your organs at all. Taping allows for a full range of motion and mobility and breathing. It's also more discreet than binding since it doesn't cover your back or your chest and shoulders. It's also not visible under your shirt so you can't see the line of your binder, which I prefer. Question number two, how long can I wear trans tape? Trans tape was intended for multiple day use and can be worn up to five days depending on your level of activity and how often you're showering. After around four days from sweating, it start, since it's summer right now, mine starts to peel from the edges and I know it's time to redo my tape. Question numero three. Can I get trans tape wet? Yes, trans tape is waterproof and sweat proof. So it can be worn through like swimming in the ocean or take in the pool or showering or taking a bath. Trans tape will dry naturally on its own, but it's also suggested to make sure that you're pressing the towel against your chest and squeezing against the tape so that way you're making sure to get all the moisture out of the tape. Question four, how long is each roll of trans tape? Five meters long. Fun fact, the rolls you get are not pre-cut so you get to determine the length of each strip which minimizes the waste and gets you more bang for your buck. Number five, how long does each roll last? Well this question is going to be different for every single person. Um, it depends on your level of activity, how often you shower, heavy exercise, sweating, Frequent showering may cause the tape to soften over time, which can make you kind of make it kind of sag, and that means you have to change it more often. The typical use of changing your tape every three to five days will result in the tape to last around a month or two, depending on the um, amount of tape that you use when you put it on. Most people use about two pieces per side. I personally use one medium or a large piece per side with my chest, but my chest isn't huge. Um, so that's just my personal experience. Question number six, is trans tape the same as KT tape? Well, yes and no. Trans tape and KT tape are similar, but they've got a lot of differences. They're both kinetic tape that was intended for use on the body and multiple days of wear. KT tape is more intended for repair of injured muscles, which explains why it's super, super narrow. Um, trans tape was intended to cover the breast tissue and has a stronger adhesive to hold the extra weight. KT tape is only available in two and a half centimeters or two inches, and trans tape is available in three sizes. Uh, the smallest being twice the width of KT tape, and the largest being four and a half times wider. So if you want to learn more about the differences between KT tape and trans tape, you can check the top of the screen, and there'll be a video to prompt you that. Number seven, does trans tape contain latex? No. Trans tape is made up of 95% cotton and 5% spandex, and it has a medical grade acrylic adhesive. Some skin reactions can happen with certain skin types, so I suggest place a small test strip on your skin for about 24 hours and remove it with oil and see if your skin reacts, so that way you know if it's something that you can use to bind. Question number eight, how do you know what size to choose? Trans tape comes in three sizes, as well as three skin tones to best fit your needs. So sizing is personal, personal preference, but here's kind of a quick guideline. Typically A to B cups want to use the small seven and a half centimeters wide because um, you won't need as much skin coverage. B and C cups typically benefit from a medium size and it tends to cover the tissue with one strip. Uh, D and double D cups tend to enjoy the larger size, so that's the 12 and a half centimeters wide size um, and it covers a large amount of skin and tissue with a single piece. So, But we've had larger chested guys report back that they prefer to use the small size because it's easier to manage and it's not like so much big um, tape on there at once. It's just gonna depend on your body, um, but that's kind of a quick guideline that'll help you out. Number nine, why does trans tape cost so much? So compared to KT tape, trans tape is pretty reasonable. 
Um, Transtape also uses a portion of their sales to donate products to youth organizations and camps as well as LGBT plus groups and also to assist in top surgery costs for guys in our community. So that's huge for me. Number 10, why are shipping costs so high? So um, unfortunately, Transtape doesn't really decide how much they want to charge you for shipping. Um, those rates are completely set by the United States Postal Service. Um, so they're in constant contact with them, trying to get the lowest prices. Um, as their prices will change, Transtapes will too. And then for international orders, they can t they are super understandable on how it can get super expensive. Um, and they realize that they're the only distributors of the product. So if you contact Transtape, they'll communicate with you for a promotional code to help offset the shipping costs. So I thought that was kind of cool of them. Number 11, is your packaging discreet? Can I order this to my mom's house and she not know what it is? Yes. They ship products in either a standard poly um, shipping envelope or in a USPS uh, priority bag or box, depending on your purchase and how much tape you're sent, they're sending. Um, they use a standard shipping label that has their company in the upper left corner. Otherwise, there will be no other identifying markers on the package. Question number 12, why isn't my tape sticking? The adhesive is very strong, but it's easily removed with the help of oils. So that being said, take special care to remove all oils lotions, dirt, sweat from your skin apply prior to applying. I suggest showering and wiping the um, application site with rubbing alcohol to be sure that it has like a super strong bond. Um, the adhesive is also heat activated. So that means uh, you need to kind of rubber it, rubber it, rub it uh, vigorously with your hand after um, application to activate it. Um, if you've tried all those things and are still struggling, make sure you contact Transtape and they'll be able to help you out. Also, I wanted to mention that um, I, whenever I put on my deodorant first, um, and then I, I try to like put on some tape, it never works. So make sure that you're not putting on your deodorant first. So maybe that'll help. Question number 13. Man, these are a lot of questions, but I want to answer them. So how do you remove trans tape? Make sure you're always using oil for removal. Um, you're going to want to fully saturate the tape in oil and allow it to soak for like five to 10 minutes until the oil has like reached all the way down to the adhesive and it just kind of gently peels off. Um, also, try to do it in the shower. Um, if you remove it in the shower with soapy water after the oil is applied, it'll be even easier to take off. Um, they've also made a special blend of oil and have like skin healing properties, so it kind of it really does help even after you take it off. Um, some people still put it on their skin. Uh, it's not necessary to use their oil because any oil would work, but they do suggest sticking to like natural oils. They do highly suggest avoiding baby oil because it's uh, petroleum based and may raise estrogen levels, causing uh, an interference with your testosterone levels. Okay, 14th and final question. If you're still sticking around to watch this video, thank you. We are going to have a giveaway at the end. Why did I get a rash or skin irritation from trans tape? Well, it's required for you to complete the 24 hour test strip prior to your first use of Transtape to make sure that you're checking for allergies or skin reactions. Skin irritation and rashes can happen if you're allergic or if you overstretch the tape um, or rip it off instead of taking it off the correct way. Um, you have to make sure to release the bond of the adhesive on Transtape before you remove the tape to reduce the risk of irritation. So that about wraps up our video and a special announcement is our giveaway. I've done one giveaway to this uh, to a winner named Liptus. I'm so happy. Liptus, you are the winner of the giveaway. And this person decided to give back and be the sponsor of today's video. So thank you, Liptus. That's super sweet of you to, gi to give back. Um, so what you're gonna do is about a week from today and all you've gotta do is enter this giveaway, go ahead and go to my Instagram, at capener44, it'll be on your screen, um, and the winner will be on Instagram, um, and tag two friends in the comments of my Instagram post announcing the giveaway. I wish you all luck, and the winner will be receiving a deluxe trans tape package, and it, that includes large um, removal oil, healing solve, uh, which helps after you take off your um, tape, and two rolls of your choice in skin tone and size. So a huge thank you to Liptus for being so generous and offering to give back to our community. And I'm excited to get this to the next winner. So this giveaway will last will be announced in my Instagram. So drop any questions you have about Transtape in the comments below and I'll answer them to the absolute best of my ability. If you're new to this channel, I created this channel to educate 
people what it's like to be uh, transgender in today's society, and also to like make the journey for those who are discovering their authenticity um, easier. So I just want to remind you, you are a remarkable human, and I am thankful that you are watching this today. And as my girl Ellen always says, make sure to be kind to one another. I'll see you guys in the next video.